To create an annotation definition from scratch, first we need to start with the text favorite that we want to actually comprise the content of the label. So in my text favorites DGN library, I'm going to open up my text favorite manager. And I'm going to navigate down and what I want to do is add an entry for a partial station label. So under my points, instead of starting from scratch, I'm just going to find something close. I'm going to right click, copy, and then go back to my folder, right click and paste. We're going to rename our new entry. I'm going to call this partial station. And then we'll hit enter to rename it. We'll save that now. In this situation, we don't need the offset field at all. And I want to take in the static prefix of station. And on our plan annotation point station, I want to change the format. So instead of using the active settings in the DGN file, I'm going to select for it to label the partial station. So what is inside of the square brackets. And you can go ahead if you want to set the precision you can. And I'm going to tell it to not show anything for a station equation. And I'm also going to turn on, say, preview and then accept. Say preview is advantageous for entries that are used for civil labeler because you don't have that big field of text out there that can affect where your dimension lines are at. So we'll save these changes. So the civil labeler plan partial station. Now we want to make an annotation definition. So let's go back over to our master features file where those are stored. And we'll open up Explorer. And we'll navigate down to our label definitions. And I'm going to go back under my plan points. And just like we copied the text favorite, we can also copy the label definition. So I'm going to right click on this one and I'm going to select copy. And that immediately gives me another instance. And just to keep with the naming format here, I'm going to call this station partial. We're going to select manage by right clicking and we're just going to pick our new text favorite. So here's our new text favorite. And so you'll see now it's only looking for the one particular entry and you can put come in and change your prompt if you want to. And in our case, we really just want to identify the point station element. Because we're not going to have two entries. And then under placement, if you need to make any adjustments there, you can. For example, if you want to change the element template or if you want to override the dimension style or the text style, you certainly can do that. Otherwise, it's going to use what is associated with the element template, which you can also put the text style directly on your element template if you would like. So there's a lot of different options there. Once you get everything set the way you want it, you'll select save. So yes, we want to save those changes and now you'll be able to place a partial station label along your baseline.